Okay, it's me again. And let me have a look here on the monitor to make sure that that's legible. It is. Good, good. And let me go back here to my computer screen. And we have just done 93, okay? Uh, and now what we're going to do is 94. Ooh, 94 is really neat. Okay, six equations. Okay. Uh, we've never done this so far. We talked about inflation at the end of, the, uh, of exam two material. But now here we're going to actually derive an equation for the price level in the macro economy. And think about it. We've already got PC in here, right? That is the price level for consumer goods. That is the consumer price index, right? So 94 says derive the price equation for the basic two-sector model beginning with, again, that same equation. PCQC equals WCNC uh, plus WINI. Clearly indicate which portion is the markup over cost in the consumption goods sector. Okay. Um, it's a common... Oh, you, you, you read about this. Uh, for the exam material, uh, for exam two, the idea of a markup, all right? And it's a big deal in post-Keynesian economics to think about the fact that the way firms price things is they figure out the cost and then they charge a markup over cost, all right? That that's a very important um, on a micro level and it's also very important on a macro level, all right? The, the, the how big the markup is. Because the markup tends to be related to things like oligopoly power. The more powerful firms are, the bigger markup they can charge. Remember that study question. That, and let me find it here real quick. It was on Davidson's Four Causes of Inflation. I'm very close, very close. Naturally can't get those two pages apart. Okay. It's number 74. One of Davidson's four causes of income's inflation is degree of monopoly or profits inflation. When will the economy experience profits inflation? And it says here, the answer is, when entrepreneurs believe that market conditions have changed sufficiently so that it is possible for them to increase what? Increase the markup of prices relative to cost. So 74 actually directly... Um, reference this whole concept of markup and now we're going to use that other equation to uh, derive that uh, doggy what are you doing Cobble, come Cobble, come sometimes that works because we do this with having a treat i don't have a treat right now come on buddy why don't you go chase the rabbit chase out the window i mean not out the window that would be cruel wouldn't it out the door come on let's go go he's just standing there go get it there it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the rabbit's just laying out there. Nobody, oh, is it raining? No, no, it's not raining. I'm not sure why you don't want to go out there. All right, well, anyway. Uh, I, he, what he's doing right now is barking at the bottom of the stairs to go upstairs. Melanie's already in bed. He wants to go up there and uh, go to bed uh, in our bed. But the problem is that he'll be satisfied for about five minutes and then come back downstairs again. So I'm going to see if I can work, work through this. All right, so let's derive this equation. Going to derive this markup from what Koleski already gave. And start with the same thing PCQC equals WCNC plus WINI. And look at it. First of all, think about this. Well, we're trying to figure out what the price level is. Well, there it is PC. All right. So clearly, one of the things we're going to be doing here is solving for P. All right, solving for the price level. What's going to be uh, kind of weird for a minute until you realize why we're doing it is that we're going to multiply uh, the equation by something weird. Well, here, l l let's do the first step. Let's do the first step. All right. So what's the easiest way to figure out what PC is? We'll divide both sides through by QC. PC is equal to WCNC over QC plus WINI over QC. All right, that's great. Um, except we're really not all the way to the, uh, the it, that doesn't give us the markup part, all right? So we're about to do something in the next step that looks really weird, all right? But once you see where we're going with it, you'll figure out why we're doing it. So check it out. There's no logical reason to take this next step except that we, it will enable us to get to the markup. Let's see here, John. Uh, w, C, N, C. I'm going to write this in a different color because I'm afraid it's starting to run together. Okay. P, C is equal to W, C, N, C 
over QC plus WI NI over QC. We already did that, right, in the previous line. Very simple uh, manipulation of the equation. Now I want to multiply this just this fraction here by one by one now for some reason he's ringing the back door bell to go out when in fact he can go out this door All right anyway he'll figure it out uh, so we'll multiply it by one uh, pardon me 